Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn about the first option for configuring a DHCP server, which is using a Cisco router. You've really got two main options for your DHCP server. You can use a Cisco router or you can use an external server, which is probably going to be running on Windows or maybe Linux or Unix. So we'll take a look at the first option here, which is using a Cisco router. If you're going to do this, it's most likely to be a small network, like a branch office, where you don't want to go to the expense of putting in a dedicated server to act as your DHCP server. You're already going to have a Cisco router in that office anyway for doing the routing, so you can also use it as the DHCP server as well, and there's not going to be any additional cost to do that. So we're going to have a look at this in the lab in a second. In our scenario, we've got small branch office. We've got R1 there, which is configured with IP address 10.10.10.1 slash 24 on its fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 interface. And there are DHCP clients on that network that it's going to give IP addresses to. So we need to configure a DHCP pool for the 10.10.10.0 slash 24 subnet. We've also got a DNS server in the office as well at IP address 10.10.20.10 and we also want to give the client PCs that information as well. So the commands to configure this, first off we're going to specify our excluded addresses. Typically in a subnet you might have some host there that you're going to want to have a fixed IP address. For example, printers or the router itself, other network infrastructure devices. So usually you're not going to give out every single address in the entire IP subnet for DHCP clients. You're probably going to have a few addresses that are reserved. You'll usually have the reserved addresses either at the start of the scope or at the end of the scope. For example, 1 to 10 or 240 to 254. In our example here, we're going to exclude addresses dot one to dot 10 from the DHCP scope. And it's a good idea to put this command in first before you configure the DHCP scope. So that way clients won't get them before you exclude them. So the command to do this is a global configuration, IP DHCP excluded address, and then the starting IP address 10.10.10.1 for our example, and then a space, and then the ending address in the range 10.10.10.10. So dot one to dot 10 will not be given out to clients. We then need to configure our DHCP pool. So again, at global config, we say IP DHCP pool. And for our example, I've called it 10.10.10.0 underscore clients, but you can call it anything you like. We could have called it IP DHCP pool Mickey Mouse if we wanted to. That will then take you to your DHCP configuration. The next command, we say network 10.10.10.0 space 255.255.255.0. That's where we specify the IP range of addresses that we're going to be giving out and also the subnet mask as well. So clients will be given an IP address from this range and that subnet mask. And the addresses will be given out on a first come first serve basis. Next command, default router 10.10.10.1 to tell the clients where their default gateway is. And finally, we've said DNS server 10.10.20.10 to also tell them where the DNS server is. So that's our configuration. To verify it, we can say show IP DHCP pool. And for our example here, you can see that least addresses is two. So we have given out two addresses in this range. 
to see the addresses that were given out and who they were given out to, we can say show IP DHCP binding. And here I can see that 10.10.10.11 was given out to the client with MAC address ending D116. And then 10.10.10.12 was given out to the client with MAC address ending A359. So you can see it started giving out addresses starting with .11 because we'd excluded .1 to .10. Okay, so that's it. Pretty simple configuration. And for the lab demo, we're going to use that exact scenario again. So we'll configure R1. We'll configure it with a DHCP scope for the 10.10.10.0 subnet. So let's go on to R1. You can see I've already got my interfaces configured there. I'll go to global configuration. I want to exclude the addresses first that I don't want to give out. So that's IP DHCP excluded address 10.10.10.1 to 10.10.10.10. Then I configure my pool. So I say IP DHCP pool. I'll call this one demo. And then the network that I want to be assigning addresses for. So 10.10.10.0. 255.255.255.0 the default router is this router itself at 10.10.10.1 and I also want to specify the DNS server which was at 10.10.20.10 okay so that's it all configured and then to verify it I can do a show IP DHCP pool. Let's see if the clients have taken their IP addresses yet. Looks like they have. Two of them have been leased. To verify, show IP DHCP binding. And there I can see that my two clients have picked up their IP addresses from DHCP. The first one got dot .11 and the second one got dot .12. So that's how you configure a Cisco router to be a DHCP server. In the next lecture, we'll look at how to configure the Cisco router to support an external DHCP server. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.